<laughs> oh man, my brother Bobby is comedy. I know. I know this is going to be comedy, man. Just searching this up, I had a bunch of encounters, man. I I, I can tell this is going to be comedy, man. This is my first time checking out Mexican got on boots. <laughs> Just the name, man. That's uh, hey. Shout out to my brother Bobby, man. I love you, and um, hey. I hope everybody is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is happening in all you guys' life, man. I love every last one of y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, join the family. Um, we are here, man, and um, I'm wishing the best for all of y'all, man. Um, let's take. <laughs> Ah, mm. let's take in this one, man. Y'all hope y'all ready, cause I'm ready. Yo, this is Ali Sadiq, man, and this is Ali Mexican Sadiq. Got on Boost. Big shout out to my man Sketching Sound. Hey, y'all check this animation out. We about to do it, baby. Man. Mexican Got on Boost. Let's do it. Shout out to Big Sketch, man. Shout out to Sketch and Sound, man. My story is about prison danger, seeing that I look so menacing, you know, and I'm black, so you know it's going to be about crime. <laughs> Let me tell you, prison is a is an odd place because you do not know the rules. No matter how many prison movies you watched and documentaries of locked up, you still don't know the rules of what's going to happen. So I'm on my way to what they call necessities. Necessities is, you know, where you clothes, you get your laundry and all that. So I'm walking to necessities and a dude just walks by and say, Mexican got on boots. I'm like, what the f does that mean? <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm, I've been in prison like the first day. What you mean Mexican got on boots? Everybody got on boots. So I thought. Dude walked past, Mexican got on boots. Mexican got on boots. So I tell somebody else, Mexican got on boots. <laughs> Dude look down and say, Mexican do have on boots and just take off running. Bye, have a great time. I'm like, was I supposed to run? <laughs> ah! Ah! Cause the Mexicans have on boots. <laughs> so I asked the old dude, I said, hey, Mexican got on boots. He say, all right, they got on boots. I said, what that mean? He said, it's gonna be a riot. I said, you pretty calm about a riot. <laughs> I said, how you know Mexicans got on boots mean it's gonna have a riot? He said, cause Mexicans don't wear boots on the rec yard. I said, okay. What they want in the wreck yard? He say sneakers. They play handball all the time. And then you look and you see Mexicans over there playing handball, but they got on boots. <laughs> so I'm like, doesn't still don't comprehend. So I get back to my cell. I say, hey, to my celly. I say, you Mexican. What Mexican got on boots mean? He say that mean we gonna ride. We gonna stab a couple of black guys up. What the fuck? <laughs> and I asked this this when you in prison, you ask dumbass questions. I'm like, does the ride happen in here? <laughs> like, why they got water? Look, why they got water? Come on, <laughs> come on now, man. Come on, come on now. Why y'all, why the Mexican got a plate of tacos and lime and salsa on his plate? And why, why, why we got to have chicken and watermelon on our plate, fam? Why? Why? <laughs> Bobby, why we got to have chicken and watermelon, fam? Uh, 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 uh. Bobby, why they do my people like that? Why they do my people like that, man? Like in this cell, cause me and you just finished eating together. What you mad at me about? I don't know. 
but this is when you learn that you stick with your race in prison no matter what you stick with your race i don't know why i can't have a mexican friend he's in my cell i don't know what's going on but mexican got on boots and i gotta figure out what i'm supposed to do now <laughs> and i still don't know i gotta still ask people found a black dude i'm like yo so what i do now the mexican got on boots <laughs> He said, you got to find you a knife. You got to find you a knife. I, I got to find a knife. Ain't no, you can't have no knife in prison. He said, you just got here, huh? I said, yeah, I just got here. He said, man, look, you're going to need to find a dude named Cece and get Cece. you a knife. It's 3,000 people on this unit. How the fuck I'm supposed to find Cece? I don't know. So I'm just walking around. Miss got on boots. Cece. Mexican got on boots, CC. Dude say, hey, you looking for CC? I say, yeah, you must need a knife. I say, yeah. He say, why you need a knife? I say, you ain't hurt? He say, no, nah, I ain't hurt. I've been at work all day. Mexican got on boots. He take off run. <laughs> Are you running? I take off running after him only oh, because he never told me what CC was. What the hell? I catch him, he say, man, go on the wreck yard. CC gonna be on the wreck yard. And I'm like, I don't wanna go on the wreck yard. I just left the wreck yard. That's how I found out Mexican had on boots. <laughs> so I'm sitting on the wreck yard, looking around for somebody who may look like a dude named CC. CC. So I'm asking, I'm looking, I'm waiting. I say, somebody gonna speak to CC. Got to. Dude walk, what up, CC? I say, that's who I'm looking for right there. <laughs> I see CC. I nod. He nod back. I say, can I come over there? He say, come on, young blood. Come I on, get over blood. there. I say, hey, CC, Mexican got on boots. He say, I heard. I say, I need a knife. He say, well, come to my cell. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to hook you up. I get to the cell. I say, CC, I need a knife. He said, what type of knife? I don't know. I just got here. <laughs> he said, what type of knife you looking for? I say, something sharp, something to poke a motherfucker with. I don't know. <laughs> so he put up a towel and say, hold on. Let me show you some knives. And now it's eight knives in front of me. It's like I'm at fucking Macy's. I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like, you know, what kind of knife you want? I said, well, you know, what kind of knife I need for a ride? I ain't never been to ride before. He said, well, you're going to need something where you can stick multiple people and it break off. <laughs> I said, is that right here on the thing? He said, no, nah, these are personal knives. What kind, what you want your knife made out of? I said, there's too many choices, man. <laughs> I just need a knife to protect myself. He said, well, God damn it, listen to me, man. Do you want it made out of wood, plastic, metal, or what? I say, Cece, listen to me. I don't know, because I've never been to ride before. What's going to protect me? He say, new ass motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's wrong to be just getting to prison. I don't new want to be here from ass, the beginning. So calling me new don't mean sh to me. So I said, so man, what would you suggest? He said, I suggest something personal, like a pin top. But can they, would that sustain with a riot? He said, no, nah, this ain't, that ain't riot knives. That's just personal walk around. I said, I need a knife for the riot. In just seven months, MIAT called. Oh shit, man! This is this is crazy. Cause Mexican got on boots. I need a knife for the riot. Cause Mexican got on boots. I said, man, how much is a personal knife gonna cost me? Two bags of coffee. Two Come bags back of coffee. a little later on the day. I say, cool, CC. So I wait three or four hours, and I knew he was working on my knife because I was down the cell, and I heard <laughs> on the ground. I say, yeah, my knife going to be sharp in the mouth. Because <laughs> I'm hearing it. I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
I'm hearing it. I'm like, yeah, I can't wait. And I'm practicing in my cell how I'm going to use my knife. <laughs> practicing my shit. So then this dude named Mitch say, hey, you getting you a knife? I say, yeah, CC working on my knife. He say, man, you need more than that. I say, what I need now? He say, you need to know Mexican got on boots so they can kick you in this fucking shin while you fighting. Boots are made out of metal. So you got to do this. This is Mitch. This is in my cell teaching me how to be in a riot. Look, first of all, when you get out there, stay close to the wall because motherfuckers going to be trying to stab you. I say, that's pretty much what a riot is. That's why I'm getting a knife. Okay. <laughs> so he say, you're going to have to do a rock and lean. I said, what the fuck is a rock and lean? Mexicans gonna come out there, they gonna have their knives, you gonna have to have your shirt off with your knife, and when you do this, you gonna have to rock to see what, what the fuck the Mexican gonna kick you with. I said, this, this is too much, this is too much. It's like a choreographed dance, I'm doing. I go back to CC, I say, yo, CC, I gotta go to the rec yard, look like it's finna get live, I need my knife. He say, man, I just sold your knife. What the fuck? Oh my God. See, see, you said it was a personal knife. For me, it costs two bags of coffee. Why it's not personal no more? He say, man, it was personal. Then a dude came in with three bags of coffee. Then it made it business. <laughs> I said, so you sold my knife? He said, yeah. Yeah. Sold your knife. I said, the ride about to jump off. Hey, man, do what you can do. So, moral of the story, how it end up. I fucking get cut because I ain't have a fucking knife and I forgot to rock. I'm out there rocking with no knife. I'm not getting kicked, but I'm getting cut. I got cut down my side from a Mexican who didn't even have on boots. Damn. <laughs> hey, sketchy squ Yeah, man. Two bags of coffee, man. They say, Bobby, they say, uh, uh, they really like that for real. Now, you need to, um, to get stuff what you want, you know what I'm saying? They, they do trading, honey buns, uh, snicker bars, um, what is it? Peanut butter, that they be trading peanut butter and jelly, uh, peanut butter, jelly, noodles, you know what I'm saying? Chips, M&M's. Yeah, they be having trade-offs in uh, over there in jail, man. We can't go to jail, Bobby. We can't go to the prison yard. Oh no! But that was funny, man. That was I like that one, man. Mexican got on boots. Shout out to all my my amigos out there, man. Shout out to my Mexicans out there. I love y'all now. Hey, Bobby, you gonna get me in trouble? <laughs> He gonna get me in trouble, man. I tell you. <laughs>